The U.S. Army recently announced that it is exploring the potential of powered paragliders through its Personnel Air Mobility System program. These lightweight aircraft offer new possibilities for battlefield mobility, particularly for airborne units operating in high-risk environments where traditional helicopters and planes might not be viable. Originally used by Special Operations Forces, powered paragliders are now being considered for broader military applications. So, in today's video, we'll take a closer look at how powered paragliders could enhance troop movement and reconnaissance in challenging situations. Let's dive right in. Since World War II, U.S. Army paratroopers have relied on jumping from airplanes to reach and secure key objectives. However, once on the ground, their mobility has been limited, often restricted to moving on foot due to a lack of vehicles. This limitation could soon be addressed with the Army's exploration of powered paragliders as a new method of battlefield transportation. The Army recently issued a request for proposals as part of the Personnel Air Mobility System initiative. The goal is to develop a powered paraglider system that can provide small units with their own means of air mobility, particularly in environments where traditional aircraft are unavailable or too vulnerable to use. These future battlefields are expected to be complex and contested, making it necessary for small teams to operate independently in areas where conventional air support might be compromised. Powered paragliders could fill this gap offering a flexible and efficient way for troops to move and carry out missions in such challenging conditions. But what kind of platforms are powered paragliders anyway? Powered paragliders are versatile aircraft that can support a variety of military missions, including reconnaissance, surveillance, troop movement, and both infiltration and exfiltration operations. These aircraft are among the simplest powered flight systems available. Originally invented in 1964 by a Canadian parachutist, powered paragliders consist of a parachute-like wing connected to a motor, traditionally powered by gasoline or diesel. Recently, there has been a shift towards electric-powered versions, though these currently offer significantly less range compared to their fuel-based counterparts. While powered paragliders are popular in recreational aviation, they have not been widely adopted by military forces. There have been some experiments, such as the British Army's trial of a powered paraglider drone in 2018, but these initiatives have not led to broader military use. However, the role of powered paragliders did gain significant attention during the October 7th Hamas attack on Israel. During this assault, Hamas fighters used powered paragliders to cross the border and carry out attacks on military and civilian targets within Israel. Although the exact effectiveness of these paragliders remains uncertain, their use in this context highlighted their potential in penetrating heavily guarded areas. Within the Personnel Air Mobility System initiative, the U.S. Army is seeking a powered paraglider system that can meet a range of operational requirements. At a minimum, the Army wants a paraglider capable of covering distances of at least 100 kilometers and reaching altitudes of up to 3,000 meters above sea level. However, the ideal system would be able to fly up to 300 kilometers and operate at altitudes as high as 6,000 meters. At these higher altitudes, pilots would need a supplementary oxygen supply to maintain prolonged flights, similar to what is required for high-altitude parachute operations. This capability would allow troops to reach distant or elevated destinations that are otherwise inaccessible by conventional aircraft. In terms of the platform itself, the Army is seeking a paraglider that, when empty, weighs up to 34 kilograms, but ideally as little as 27 kilograms, while still being able to carry a load up to 180 kilograms. Given that soldiers often carry over 45 kilograms of gear in combat, especially during prolonged missions, the lighter logistics footprint of powered paragliders would be highly advantageous. This would allow forces to operate more effectively in challenging environments and behind enemy lines with minimal resupply needs. Powered paragliders offer several key benefits for military use, 
Their ability to fly close to the ground helps them avoid detection, making them less vulnerable to both aerial and ground-based threats. Their low radar, infrared, and noise profiles further enhance their stealth, making them difficult for enemies to spot and track. When flown at higher altitudes, these paragliders benefit from better aerodynamic performance, leading to improved fuel efficiency and extended range. Whether powered paragliders will become a common tool for conventional Army forces remains uncertain. The Army has explored various air mobility concepts for individual soldiers over the years, from jetpacks to rocket belts, but none have seen widespread adoption. However, powered paragliders, already proven in special operations, offer distinct advantages, such as low cost, minimal logistical needs, and stealth, that could make them valuable for broader military use. As the Army continues to explore these possibilities, powered paragliders could play a significant role in future battlefield operations. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. And if you found this video interesting, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for the latest defense news and analyses.